For our next concert, we will continue our celebration of Beethoven's 250th anniversary of his birth, performing the Symphony Number no. 6, also known as a Pastoral, which basically gives us Beethoven's uh, inspirations and ideas of what a beautiful Sunday picnic might look like. This is one of those times that Beethoven actually gave us specific imagery of what the music was telling us. And even giving specific titles to each one of the movements, particularly going out into the countryside and getting happy feelings as you reach uh, the open air. And then sitting by the brook in the second movement where you literally hear the strings playing this water flowing constantly. And then the third movement where you have this beautiful dance, a scherzo, of people, I guess, having had a little bit too much wine already and getting very happy and enjoying the, the day. And as usually happens when you're enjoying a perfect day, a storm comes in and that's the fourth movement where it's one of the most violent pieces of music that Beethoven has ever written with the timpani and the piccolo and the trombones and everybody just playing and depicting a violent storm that basically catches everybody off guard and by surprise. But as soon as it comes through, it flies away and once again the sun comes out and the piece basically wraps up with happy feelings and thankful feelings as nobody was hurt in the violent storm. In these concerts we will also be recording the Conquest Requiem by Gabriela Lena Frank and this is a work that will showcase the Nashville Symphony Chorus. This work depicts the clash between the old and the new uh, civilizations that came together during colonial times in the New World. And some of these meetings were quite violent and produced very negative uh, and difficult historical moments. This particular piece depicts the story of the true story of Malinche, who was a Nahuan woman who was taken as a slave by the Spaniards and eventually kind of rose through the ranks because she was able to become a translator from Spanish and Nahua and Quechua. And because of that ability, she became very helpful to uh, the conquistadors that had reached uh, our shores. She eventually even became Cortez's mistress and delivered a child called Martin, who became one of the first mestizos in the New World. Like most requiems, the piece utilizes uh, the Latin text and because uh, Malinche herself became converted to Christianity, it's a piece that basically utilizes the Christian uh, version of the Requiem Mass. And it is a work that combines not only a historical uh, event that actually took place at the same time as how much uh, Christianity uh, influenced the new arrival of, of the new conquistadors into uh, Latin America and this is something that even in the 21st century is having a very very strong impact. This is a work that was commissioned by the Houston Symphony but we are very honored that the Nashville Symphony will be recording this with our fantastic Nashville Symphony Chorus. Having grown up in Costa Rica and Nicaragua myself I remember very vividly that the arrival of Columbus in 1492 was something that we just celebrated every year without much questioning. But as history has become more obvious, I think it, we have come to find out that, that perhaps the arrival of the conquistadors was not something completely positive to everybody that was involved with that part of history, particularly with uh, the natives that were already in this part of the world that in some cases were completely wiped out. And this is a conflict that even to this day, uh, we are having to deal with. Uh, whether there were many fantastic and positive things that came out of that. We have to also remember that there was a very, very high price that was paid uh, in the name of progress, if we want to call it that. But even in my own lifetime, I have seen the shifts happen quite dramatically. And it's difficult to come to terms sometimes whether how we feel personally about any of this. At the same moment, it is through great art and it is through great music that sometimes we try to make sense out of these, of these events. And Gabriela Lena Frank's Conquest Requiem, I think, attempts to do that. Try to give us a human aspect of a 
particular character, in this case Malinche, this translator woman that eventually converts to Christianity and gives her, her idea of what she might have thought all of this was happening and how her whole world was being appended. Of course, nowadays in, in our time, we have the benefit and, and, and the privilege of being able to see it from 200, 300, 400 years of history. But it is definitely a topic that sometimes can seem to be uncomfortable, but thankfully we have music and we have art that in many ways will present an aspect of a story and hopefully find a way to make sense out of, out of it all.